us to the third episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 internal science paper one which is in physics so if you haven't seen the first episode which is in covering the entire section a please check out on our youtube channel so let us look at question b2 from section b a car has a mass of 900 kg it accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.2 meters per second square calculate the Loma numeral one time taken to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second so the question is what is the relationship between velocity and the acceleration so we know that final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration times time so we know what acceleration is is this one that we've been given then we know what is the final velocity to be that the question is asking us to find the time and we know again what is initial velocity because it's starting from rest so this initial velocity is zero so once we know that then we can just now deal with the question so the facts that we know is we are looking for time we know final velocity is 30 meters per second then we know initial velocity is equal to 0 meters per second then we know acceleration is equal to 1.2 meters per second square so it's just a matter of substituting so final velocity is 30 then initial is 0 then plus e, acceleration is 1.2 then e, we are looking for time so it will be t like that so it will be now 30 is equal to 0 plus anything is that thing is equal to 1.2 t then we divide by 1.2 we divide by 1.2 then that and that cancels then t is equal to 30 divided by 1.2 we are getting 25 so 25 seconds is the time so once you do this you get the two marks so what is important is understanding what is acceleration so when you're talking about acceleration you're saying it is the rate of change of velocity per unit time that's why you have acceleration as a is equal to change in velocity which is final velocity minus initial velocity over time which is change in time this change in time is the total time it takes and this is the 25 seconds that we found so if you can remember this formula you are warm and dry question loma numero two calculate the force required to accelerate the car at a rate of 1.2 meters per second square so what's the relationship between force mass and acceleration so the relationship is force is a function of mass times acceleration so we know what mass is this mass should always be in kg if you're given in grams convert it to kg the common mistake is people forgetting to convert grams to kg in this case it's straightforward because it's given to us in kgs so what you do is we have 900 then multiply by acceleration should be in meters per second so multiply by 1.2 so once we multiply that we are going to get 1080 newtons this is the force required to accelerate the car to this acceleration once you do this you are good to go again what is important is understanding what is force force is the pull or push so it is also a vector quantity meaning it has both magnitude and the direction that's what you need to take note of then what is the effect of force on a moving object those are the questions that you need to be asking yourself as you are studying so force changes the direction of a moving object secondly it increases or decreases the motion of an object 
whether it's pushing if it's pushing it increases in the motion of an object if it's pulling backward meaning it's against the direction of an object it's decreasing the motion of an object so you also need to understand the meaning of resultant force so if you have two forces moving the object in the same direction the resultant force is given by force 1 plus force 2 for you to get the resultant force then if you have two opposing forces so the force is moving in the opposite direction of a moving object the resultant force will now be force 1 minus the opposing force so you need to know this once you know this you'll be able to answer any question on e force so thank you for joining me in uh, this episode please check out for more videos on our youtube channel that are specifically based on him forces and also we have a playlist that focuses on a particular exam so check out on our youtube channel of course so much content for you if you are new to this channel consider subscribing if you find this video helpful please consider liking and sharing with your colleague so join me in the next episode as we look at question b3 in detail